Yeah, I will. Does it look weird? Of course it does. That's because we're using the Lomography Petzval 55mm F1.7, am I correct? Yeah, F1.7. F1.7, yeah. I don't know, can you see the weird stuff around me? It's an art lens, so the particular design that, that you can probably see right now. Big thank you to Lomography for letting us borrow this lens. All right, so this is our first time with this lens, so it would be interesting if you would join us in checking out what this lens can do and what kind of shots you can get out of this little weird thing. All right, let's go. So what's really cool about this lens, as you can see from this video, is that I got this really cool swirly effect around me. That's part of the reason why uh, Lomography is branding this as an art lens, particularly because of that. So you get this swirly look on the side. It's very moody, very edgy, perfect for um, maybe a music video kind of shot or maybe um, uh, weird photography you know, ideas. And you get this really nice circular bokeh. And actually, that bokeh, is adjustable all right so right now we're adjusting the the bokeh and uh, you can see the effect intensify as the levels go up and it decrease as the levels go down all right that's pretty cool that's pretty cool right yeah now the one thing to note about this lens is that this is an e-mount lens so it's designed for sony cameras now if you're using an entry-level sony camera like a like one of the a6000 series you will get a crop look but if you're going to be using it for something like what we're using here the a7 III you'll get more out of the frame so um, just take note of that when you're probably going to be using this for a sony camera uh, crop look on an APS-C camera and more with a full frame sensor like the one on the a7 series all right rolling all right so I don't know, crack a joke, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's so good. I don't know, it's so good. I know, I know. Echo. Okay, so one last thing to note about the Petzl 55 is that it also comes with different aperture plates. You can have essentially different shapes for your uh, bokeh pattern. Uh, you can have this sun shape, you can have this ice, ice snowflake shape, or this heart shape. And you can customize your own, so you stick uh, probably a sticker onto that and then you've got your own custom shape. Now, um, that really works well with the different intensities that you can use with the bokeh level. So you partner that up with the intensity and you've got a really creative shot. So um, why don't we try that out? Are you getting it? Yeah, I am getting it. But I got to point it at like, there you go. So as you can see, it, it really puts out the, the creativity in you uh, by just picking which one you're going to use. Uh, so that's something worth considering when you're using this lens. To note, uh, when you're using the aperture plates, you have to consider that the picture quality will generally become darker because you're actually blocking the light that's entering the lens and that's getting to the sensor. So put in an aperture plate and it will automatically get dark. So make sure that uh, your lighting conditions are perfect or you know, to your taste when you're using the aperture plates. So again, this is the Petzval 55mm art lens. So you gotta really lock in that um, art lens idea because this is a lens that you probably, you probably won't be using every day. But you know, you use it, you get that default art look, the swirly and the circular bokeh. And you know, that's something that you can't get out of, you know, like post editing very easily. So if you're interested, you can check out this lens at Lomography's website or you can visit them here 
uh, in Makati because they have an office here. All right, so that's it. Um, once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.